magic exists all around us. In the beauty of a sunrise, in the delight of a child's laugh, in the memories evoked by a piece of music. These moments uplift and inspire us. Using the art of magic, I create moments that astonish, entertain, and inspire. I am Mo Magic. On today's show, <laughs> Halloween takes on a whole new meaning as we explore the creepiest night of the year. I'm in the bustling metropolis of Durban and I have a chilling night planned for a few unsuspecting guests. I first make my way to Bawa Park to find out more about an interesting cultural experience called Fire in the Park that has been going on for almost a decade. I will also perform a few effects for some of the people in attendance in preparation for the witching hour. Net. I'm fascinated by what I'm seeing here this evening. I'll be honest, I haven't seen anything like this before, let alone in Durban. So it's been going for quite a while, for longer than 10 years, I think. I've been coming since 2006. You know, I, I heard that this was a weekly event. But just sitting here, looking at the energy amongst people, looking at the intensity at which they're drumming, I have to say it's more culture than anything else. Yeah, it's definitely a culture. It's not an event, it's a culture. We just, we love what we, you know, we love doing this. Sinet, how about I do some magic? Okay. Great. What's in it? How do you do it? Sinet, how about I do some magic for some of your other friends? Yeah, let me go call them. Okay, thank you. I love the outfit. Thank you. I especially love the assortment of shapes. The circle, the crystal, the stones. What's the, uh, the hand for? This is called a hamza. Yeah. Um, it symbolizes protection and it just brings a lot of tranquility. Tranquility? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to try something with some shapes. Right. Okay. I have you an exam pad. Okay. I want you to take this and here's a marker. Here you go. I don't want to see, so I'll turn away. But I want you to listen to my instructions very carefully. Okay. okay? I'm going to name a few shapes and I'd like you to think of any one of the shapes I name. When you've done that, I want you to draw the shape as big as you can on the paper. Okay. Yeah? The first shape is a circle. The second shape is a plus sign. The third shape is a triangle. The fourth is a, uh, let's make it um, a square. I want you to think of any one of those shapes. Do you have one in your mind? I drew two, actually. You drew two? Yes. Scratch out one, keep one. So clearly visible, since you've got two, I want you to make it clearly visible for the camera. So on that piece of paper, show it to the camera. Done? Yeah. Take the piece of paper out, squash into a ball. There, great, I'll take this. I want you to think about the shape you drew. I'm not getting it. I want you to think of it again. You said you took two. Yes? I think I know what it is. Triangle. Thinking of a triangle, yes? Yeah? Now watch this. 
Watch it. Come closer. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, is it safe to dance inside there if I would like to? <laughs> Go for it if you'd like. Coming up next, stay indoors, because it's fright night. I've invited a few guests to a secret location. They wanted to be treated to some of my magic, but what they don't know is that I've planned a supernatural Halloween experience with them. Welcome, thanks for joining me here this evening. How's everybody doing? Very good. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, I'm sure you've heard the word Halloween. What is your understanding of Halloween, Tommy? Candy, scary monsters. Witches. Party, like celebration. Costumes and horror movies. <laughs> Interesting. Halloween is actually a celebrated event worldwide. It's actually the Celtic New Year. And Halloween is Old Hallows Eve. Many believe it is the night when the veil between this world and the spiritual world is its closest. So, Tommy's looking a little scared already. <laughs> now, tonight being Halloween, I've invited you here, but none of you knew what was going to happen. Yes? I've planned something special this evening, and as part of Halloween, I have a few demonstrations and experiments I'd like to conduct with each of you. I'd like to try a little experiment based on connection. We're going to use some playing cards. As you can see, the cards are fairly well mixed. Now, Eric, I'm going to go through the cards with my thumb. I'd like you to call stop wherever you feel comfortable, all right? Yeah. Stop there. Okay. You stop me at this card. This is the Four of Spades. Now watch carefully. Yeah. Give me your right hand palm up. I'll take the Four of Spades. Place it right here. Put your other hand on top. And just keep it, yeah, just keep it down. Just keep it, just relax your hand with the card. Great. Now, you could have said stop at any one of these cards. Now, each card has with it a mate card, a corresponding card. So, for example, the Jack of Hearts would be matched with the? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. So, you've got the Four of Spades. Four of Spades. The corresponding matching card would be? Four of Clover. Four of Clover. Now, remember, you had a choice of any card. You said that you could have said stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. You've got the Four of Spades, Spades in your hand. Face up. Watch this. One card turns face up in the face down pack. <laughs> oh my. I'll tell you what, lift your left hand up. Watch, I'm going to take this card and I'm going to tear off. A little piece. Would you hang on to that? That one was face up. This one turned face up. We tore that one. Watch this. I'll do this as slow as I can. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what? Two cards are connected. Clearly. Hmm? Try one more thing. I have here a lighter. Watch this. Can you see the card? I'm just gonna burn the back of this card. Did you feel anything? No. Turn that card over. Turn it over. What? what? <laughs> Straight to the camera. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Not a chance. Jeez. Wow. Is it the same side? The, the, the... Turn it over. Turn it over. Oh my. There you go. What? A definite connection between the cards. <laughs> I'm impressed. 
How did you do that? Can you keep a secret? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So can yes. I. <laughs> <laughs> no. Remember I said a series of experiments and demonstrations. And demonstrations, mm -hmm. yes. Now, I have here a globe and I've isolated it and insulated it in the plastic bag. Watch carefully. Just focus on the light bulb. Oh, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy is looking a bit freaked out now, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, it's okay. N nothing to really stress out about. I don't know. <laughs> before this evening, have any of you two, or have any of you met before this evening? Mm, no. No, I don't so think so. So just this evening, the four of you have met. Quite, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Down. Tashinga, I want you to stand here. And Craven, I want you to stand here. Great. I'm just going to position you. Here we go. Let's just take a step back. And take a step back. Okay. Here we go, right? Now, I want you to look forward. Okay. Just take a deep breath. Great. <sighs> Do me a favor, take a quick glance at him from top to bottom. Okay. Yeah. Take a quick glance, a quicker glance for you, <laughs> from top to bottom. All right. Okay, great. Now, a little experiment with connection. This is what we do. I want you both to look forward. I want you to close your eyes. Yes. And I want you just to listen to the sound of my voice. Don't say anything at all. I want you to observe anything that you've been feeling. All right? If you felt a sensation on your body, lift your right hand. Put it down. Good. With your right hand, Point to where you felt that last. Put your hand down. With your right hand, indicate on your fingers the number of times that you felt that. Great. Hands down. Open your eyes. What did you feel? Three taps on the left shoulder blade. What did you feel? Three taps on my left shoulder. Okay, now, these two gentlemen were watching the entire time. Eric, what did you see? You touched the chain like three times. Tommy, mm -hmm. be honest, what did you see? He tapped her only three times. Yeah. Did I even get close to him? Did yeah, I even touch him? The whole time. <laughs> 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 you didn't touch him at all. Never. And, and, you didn't get close to him. I've been standing here the entire time. Oh my. <laughs> no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You may return to your position. <laughs> Thanks, Preven. Thank All you. Right. You may return to your position. Are you serious? No, I see it. No, no, it. it. no, no, it. 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 Um, but he did do this on my face. Yeah, that was the first yeah. thing he did. Then he, he did do this though on my face. To yeah. so make sure if you're peeking. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> was way far away from you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tommy still can't get over it. Okay, Tommy, now something with you. Okay. I have you an exam pad and a marker. I want you to take this and I want you to write the name of somebody that you have in mind. So think of somebody. Do you have them in mind? Yes. Great. Just take this. Now I won't look. Tashinga will make sure I look away. And I want you to write the person's name down. When you're done, show it to the camera. Are you done, Tommy? Yes, sir. Great, take the piece of paper out. And you can squash it into a little ball. Just think of this person. Let me try something. Give me that. Keep thinking of this person. Is this person close to you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do my best not to get burned. I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> not like that. Watch.
That looks like an oh, oh, no. <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow. I took a bit of pain for you there as well, Tommy. Wow! Holy Unbelievable! <laughs> Have any of you watched these supernatural or ghost hunter movies? Yes? Yeah. Now, in some of these movies, you see them go moving around with electronic equipment mm -hmm. and they're trying to find or listen to sounds from the other side. Yes? That, that's actually called EVP for electronic voice phenomenon. Now, now, there is a reason that I've brought you here, and this is it. There have been multiple reports of supernatural activity in this area, ranging from sounds to sightings, and I'd like to test, as part of one of the experiments this evening, I'd like to test this. So EVP stands for electronic voice phenomenon. Does anybody have a, a mobile phone on them? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, great. Now, mobile phones, is that a smartphone? It is. Okay, great. Do you have a voice note app? Yes, I do. Great. Can you open that for me, please? Sure. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I want complete silence, right? While I do this. Is anyone here? Who are you trying to connect with? What do you want to tell them? Did anybody hear anything? No? Come closer. Nice. I've, I've stopped it. I'm just going to play, right? Yeah. And put it on speaker. Is anyone here? Yes! <laughs> Hi! <Okay. laughs> Who are you trying to connect with? <laughs> what do you want to tell them? Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Kimbi? No. Who's that Kimbi? Wow. I'm scared now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna save it. Let me click done. And I'm going to save it, <laughs> and I'm going to save it as EVP. While well, I was busy recording, yeah. I couldn't hear anything, but I could see it picking up on the phone. She <laughs> saw it pick up some... That's scary, isn't it? So... That's a good, but not that good, yo. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay, that's fine. It's shocking. Let's take a deep breath, take a deep breath. After having experienced that, what do you think of the rumors and the reports that there's something supernatural about this place? Tell me, we'll start with you. Speech. <laughs> Call the Ghostbusters, that's simple. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he said my voice, like, it's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss. Oh my word. What happens next? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'm still at our secret location, spending Halloween with my freaked out guests. Different cultures pay tribute to their ancestors and their spirits in different ways. The Chinese, for example, use Chinese lanterns. Are any of you familiar with Chinese lanterns? Yes. yes. You are? Have any of you used Chinese lanterns before? No. Yes. No, Tommy says no. The Shinga no. says no. I've never. Never? Preven? I have. You have? Yeah. Okay, great. Now, Preven, since you've used it, I'd like you to lead. So you take one, 
And Tashinga, you can have one. Great. So I think uh, Preven's holding it the right, the right way. Huh? From the top. I mean, don't touch the ground though. It gets wet, it'll break. What I'd like you to do is, Eric, I'd like you to be very careful and I want you to light the wax or the centerpiece under the lantern. Please help Preven there. You can hold that. Great. It'll take just a moment, but once it catches, it will continue. Eric, once you're done with Preven's, Preven will hold it and the air will take. Do the same for Tashinga. Once the heat goes in, you'll see the lantern start to take shape. So please be careful not to set it off prematurely. And Eric, once you're done there, I'd like you to pass me a lantern for myself. Thank you, Eric, you can return to them. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to move positions. I want you to hold it at the base. And let me hold it for you so you can grab it. Yeah. Be careful, please. I want you to let yours go, both of you. Let it go. Let them go. Both. Mine is almost ready to go. Right? The one's crashing. Watch very carefully. I think I need to give mine just a few more seconds. There's no one yours. Someone's ready to the right. Mine is ready to go. Watch. Now that's what I call a magical reaction. Wow, that's amazing, boy. 